herself. The spike currently has extremely low 11,729 very well cared for miles. Now this particular bike is equipped with the metallic purple base paint job. And then you've got a two-tone gloss black uh, paint addition. You have chameleon purple tribal accents and gold pinstriping. Definitely a very, very attractive paint job. Now in 2005, Big Dog equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 1,916 cc, 117 cubic inch SNS V twin motor. You've got a six speed Baker transmission. You've got a right side balance drive. got PM disc brakes and PM polished billet wheels. They definitely didn't spare any expenses when they were building these motorcycles. Now up front you've got a 21 inch rim. In the rear you've got an 18 inch rim with a gigantic 250 millimeter uh, tire. Definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look. bike is extremely clean. Uh, one of the cleaner bikes I've come across as far as a uh, 2005 model. Um, you've got a couple additions. First off, you've got the uh, rear passenger pegs. What that will allow you to do is to add a pulling pad or a two-up seat on that rear fender uh, to facilitate that uh, rear passenger. You've got the uh, Paul Yaffe two into one uh, exhaust system. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking uh, pipes aesthetically and sounds even better. Uh, you are a short pipe, so you get a lot of, uh, a lot of sound, very deep throaty uh, sound on the, an exhaust system. So definitely a, a nice addition. And then you've also got the high level paint job. Uh, this is definitely a, a, a more expensive job from Big Dog Motorcycles. Now, as far as condition goes, I'm going to rate the bike at a 9.5 out of a 10. The bike is very, very clean, but it is a 2005 model and it does have uh, 11,000 miles, so you're going to have uh, a few cosmetic blemishes. Tire. I'm going to deem that you've got approximately 80% of tread remaining. I can't see uh, any weather checking. And so uh, definitely looks like a good tire that should give you some, some decent life. Now that rear fender, I apologize for the reflection. It is uh, rather cast and very, very windy at the moment. and uh, he is very very attention to detail he cuts some buffs all the uh, polished billet and uh, goes through the chrome uh, goes through the paint he does a phenomenal job and so uh, he had an expensive endeavor to have done but uh, you know I always like to have them uh, polished and detailed just so you know uh, how, how beautiful they can be you've got that rear swing arm in great shape. You may have a few minor uh, blemishes. 
pictures just from rocks coming up and hitting them. We'll go over here. You've got the uh, mounting holes for the stock and factory uh, exhaust system. Um, I'm assuming you have some plugs, but you do have some blemishing on that frame from where it, when that bracket was on there. Uh, solo seat is in uh, in good shape um, it is a 2005 so you, you may have a few minor uh, blemishes just from sliding on and off of the motorcycle rear passenger pegs seem to be in really good shape the rubber seems to be attached uh, the polished billet you do have a little bit of oxidation but uh, uh, John went through that in the best of the so, uh, polish those up and make them look as, as new as possible so they're not perfect, but they do look really nice. And you've got the uh, electrical cover there. You've got a few light uh, surf scratches, I'm assuming, again, from uh, someone's legs you know, coming on and off of the bike. Uh, you're just going to have a little bit of wear and tear. Gas tank is in good shape. You know, the only major blemish I would point out is you've got a chip right there. I'd say you're approximately one eighth inch in diameter. It has been touched up, but I definitely want you to be aware of what you're getting there. Other than that, Blemishes from rocks. I don't see any cuts on there. I'm going to go over it again and, and make sure uh, if I do see anything, it's in the condition report. So, looks like you may have one uh, little pit on the front of that rear uh, rocker box cover as well. So, you've got a, a total of two there. want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. The yeah, Paul Yaffe exhaust system is in great shape. Um, it looks like it's been on the bike for a little bit of time, so again, it's not going to be absolutely perfect, but does look, uh, look pretty, looks pretty darn good. So some of these cables uh, look like, looks like you've got a little bit of uh, rust color oxidation there. I don't know exactly what happened there. Um, I'm going to try to get a, a fine, very fine steel wool to see if I can get some of that to come off. But um, before I do that, I just want to make sure you know it's there. And uh, the has, has a few blemishes. Up underneath the frame uh, is pretty, pretty clean, but you're going to have a few uh, scrapes. These bikes sit so low to the ground that it's dang near impossible to prevent them from. Uh, scraping when you at, at some time a point going into a uh, low profile uh, driveway and so that's there just want to make sure you're aware of that as well yeah front right side forward control pegs are in great shape really not a whole lot of wear and tear on the, on the shift peg
handlebars and grips are in, in great shape. No major blemishes to point out, no pitting chrome. Front of the handlebars in really good shape. We have a few uh, minor blemishes from rocks hitting hitting the mirror or the handlebars, but nothing too crazy. Uh, again, you've got some oxidation here on the uh, shift cable. Uh, again, I'm, I'm gonna try to get that to come off the best I can with some uh, fine steel wool. down tubes of the frame seem to be in uh, fair shape. You're going to have a few uh, minor, minor uh, blemishes. Uh, you're just bound to uh, have some rocks hit this, uh, but nothing too crazy. So just want you to be aware of that. Front forks and triple trees are in great shape. No major blemishes to point out there. Uh, the headlights in great shape. No major blemishes in the chrome. Shock absorbers are in, in great shape as well. I can't see any major uh, blemishes or pitting. Light. Let's see if we can get that to focus a little bit better. A few light, minor light scuffs right there. But again, just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. You can see right there the, the little scuff there. But overall, in pretty decent shape, especially for being a, a 2005 model. new tires or not left side of the front wheel is in uh, great condition no major blemishes to point out there the uh, brake rotor on the disc brake looks uh, looks to be in good shape and, uh, no crazy major blemishes to point out either left shock absorber and the Left side triple tree and forks. Great condition. Mirrors in great shape. Left side tank looks good. Uh, I'm gonna get you a little bit different angles. It almost looked like there was a chip there, but that's just a reflection from the uh, lever there on the uh, handlebars. Just want you to know that's not a, a blemish. Again, you've got that one blemish right there. Left side of the gas tank appears to be in uh, really good shape. No major blemishes to, uh, to point out there. Shift lever uh, looks to be in uh, good shape. The, the tow peg is in really good shape. Got a little blemishing in between the rubber on the polish belt, but not bad. You've got a little bit of wear on that uh, left side uh, foot peg. 
but the rubber's not separating and, and on these big dogs it's pretty common to have happen. So of the uh, undercarriage there. Left side of the motor appears to be in really good shape. Again, I just had uh, my detailer go over the whole bike and he, he really strives to uh, polish the motor the best that he can, get in the engine jugs and then the fins. The electrical cover on this side uh, is in, in good shape. No major blemishes, maybe a few light surf scratches actually it does look like you've got a rock chip there there and there and there a little scratch so i take that back the trans cover there primary drive appears to be in uh, in good shape no major blemishes with the exception of some light uh, surf scratching nothing you want to expect on a on a 2005 model In, uh, in good shape. You've got a little bit of creasing in the leather, but nothing crazy bad. And uh, pretty common to see that have happen. In fact, that's very, very minor. Looks like you've got a little bit of a scratch on that uh, left side passenger peg. Rubber, though, looks to be in really good shape. They look like they've hardly been used, so. License plate cover appears to, or not cover, but holder, appears to be in decent shape. No major blemishes to point out. Maybe it, you've got a few light surf scratches. Looks like you've got a little gouge right there. But really nothing too crazy. If you can get the undercarriage a little bit more on that swing arm. The uh, left side rear passenger wheel is in great shape. Again, just had the bike completely detailed. And so the polish billet has been uh, polished, cut and buff. Um, and so it's going to be looking as, as close to new as you possibly can. <laughs> Got that gorgeous, gorgeous paint. shape. You may have a few minor blemishes. That's a, a common area to have some rocks come up and hit. Looks like you've got some uh, chipping right there on the uh, underneath the uh, primary drive. Fire the motorcycle up for you.
extremely well. Uh, it rides even better. Uh, everything on the motorcycle functions as it should. And uh, it really is a nice riding motorcycle. Uh, if you do have any questions or uh, concerns, definitely don't uh, hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I am the owner and operator of the business called Auto Realm. And you can reach me on my direct cell phone line, which is 801 0629 again that's 801-564-0629 um, I'd suggest subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, anytime we get new uh, inventory in we will uh, shoot a new video and we'll get some uh, photos up as well and so if you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, turn on the notifications uh, you will be uh, notified once that that happens um, you can also hop over to our direct website, which is www.auto-realm.com. Uh, there is also another link called www.utahchopper.com, which will lead you to the same webpage. Um, in the listing description on YouTube, I will go ahead and give you all the uh, additional information on the motorcycle and um, as far as additions and the way it's spec'd out. And then the asking price will also be on there. So, I uh, most definitely appreciate your interest in the motorcycle and I also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.